it is the, the date that's been out there is 2025. Uh, but now there's discussion that it could be as early as 2024. Um, and, and that football season specifically is the more realistic date for when they'll actually be integrated into the SEC schedule. And we will actually see Texas and Oklahoma join the pods in the nine game conference, which we all think is happening uh, sooner rather than later. Maybe we get it moved up even before then, but at least over the weekend, it inched up by 12 months. So I, I'm doing a, a working on a piece right now for Outkick.com that should drop tomorrow where we get I, – it's a deeper dive into what we talked about last week, Hutton, with the 6-3 model and my plan for every – all three constant opponents for every team. And I'm kind of doing this fairness ranking based on SEC win percentage historically – and then your opposition's win percentage, and I'm going to look individually, historically, in the SEC and see win percentage amongst the teams you play constantly every year. Um, it's a good idea. People are probably going to claim that uh, I'm, I'm treating Tennessee too generously with this, with their schedule, but that's, it's going to break out that way for someone, right? That's going to be kind of my point. There's no way to make it completely fair when you have teams historically that have been very different in terms of win percentage against the other ones, right? I mean, when... Alabama, for instance, I've got this in front of me right now, is second all-time in wins, and they're 513 and 208 and 27 all-time, and Vanderbilt nationally is 99th, and they're 210 and 449 all-time, and their SEC win percent, that's just in the SEC, by the way, when the percentages are that different, then you're going to have you know issues that arise, and it's going to lead you to want to, and this is what gives you better games, probably. You put the good teams historically against other good teams historically while mm -hmm. trying to not stack it with three of those opponents every year being juggernauts historically. But back to Oklahoma I'd argue, Texas. Hold on, let me interject yeah. there. I, I, I'd argue you should have set a more modern date on it. Not that Alabama isn't all-time successful in whatever period you're going to look at and Vanderbilt isn't all-time bad at whatever period you're going to look at. But I'd say last 20 years – last 25 years would be more informative to me well, than the all-time success of Ole Miss or Mississippi State or Well, here's how whoever. I looked at it, Paul, because I wanted to start in 1992 because that's when South Carolina and Arkansas joined yeah, the conference. Yeah, that would have been good for me. But Oklahoma and Texas have never been in the SEC. So what I did was I took Oklahoma and Texas' actual SEC record historically. They've played, for instance, Oklahoma. Texas has played over 200 games in their history against the SEC. In football. So I've got that record. They're 191, 93, and 9 against the SEC. Oklahoma is 110, 49, and 8 against the SEC. South Carolina and Arkansas, even when they were in other conferences, they played that. So I just took everyone historically in the SEC. I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I, if I put a, if I put a, a level on it, it'd be 1992. I'd go the last 30 years because that's when the conference expanded. But looking at every program historically, Oklahoma and Texas are the second and third teams in the SEC now, behind historically, Bama. behind Bama. Bama, Oklahoma, Texas, Tennessee, Georgia. That's one through five historically with win percentage in the conference. And that's, that's nationally going within the conference too. So, uh, again, this is going to drop tomorrow. But that's just to, to wrap this up in a bow, that's how important these two programs are nationally and to the SEC. This is not some – oh, they're going to come to the SEC and now have to play with the big boys. That's true to an extent, but these are two of the best programs all time that are joining this conference. How much have they played? They're going to hold their I, I own just I don't fine. know if you'll know this off the top of your head. How much have they played the SEC in the last 10 or 15 years? I don't know. Yeah. Not as much, probably, because teams are less inclined to play. They'll play them in bowl games. Yeah. You know, that's where they'll see each other. Texas Oklahoma's had, played Tennessee twice. Texas had Arkansas, yeah. for instance, last year. Yeah. Oklahoma and Tennessee have met up a couple times. I mean, it, it happens. And uh, I think it's going to happen that they'll negotiate that media rights deal down some. They're, they're going to have to pay a big amount, but it's not, I don't think it's going to end up being like the nine figures that both teams combined would have to pay if they were to leave right now. Like if you're going to, if you're going to negotiate this for an, an earlier exit, maybe we get earlier than 2024. Can it be as early as 2023 based on, you know they, they've got to determine here we see, like within the next what two league wide meeting sessions what they're going to if it's going to be earlier than 2024 what they're going to do schedule wise 
because then you you I think you begin all of that as you welcome Texas and Oklahoma in, and they're already having. If they don't have a voice, they have uh, they have a phone and a, a a Zoom or something for these meetings. They've been asked to you know, listen in and and chime in, but they, of course they don't have the the quote unquote vote in this. But they're treating they're being treated like future members of the SEC as they should uh, with with their opinion. But uh, ba- based on uh, th- those two teams, we're headed to a nine game schedule, and I think it's going to be great. I mean it's. I, I'm interested to, to read Chad's piece at Outkick tomorrow because it will include, I'm sure, if you're adding the extra game, it's removing that dud of a weekend that we normally get in early November, which or, or mid-November. I'm I'm all for that. 